So, it's 2018, we're about to hit summer, and you're probably thinking, I'm going to go on vacation, I'm going to go out with my friends, with my family, with my loved ones, and I really want a good camera that's going to capture A, good video, and B, great photos. Now, right now on the market, there are a ton of cameras you could get, ranging from $300 all the way up to about at least $5,000, $8,000. Now, what is your best option right now? Well, in today's video, I'm going to tell you a great camera that's going to cover all of your bases from great video to great audio and in a great price. That's probably what we're looking for. Now, stick around. Sony A7 Mark I. I've been meaning to do this video for a while, and I just, I just want to tell you guys how great of an opportunity you have if you're in the market for a new camera. I know there is a lot of cameras out there right now, that you could get in 2018. You could go as far as spending $8,000, you could spend $300, $200 for a great camera, new or used. But however though, this is something that if you are in, in the market for good quality, for upping your production just a little bit more, I do recommend the A7 Mark I. Probably the biggest reason why I would get it again, or why I actually got it, was the price. I got this one for $800, body lens used now it's in perfect condition i got it off of offer up say you're one of those people that you like i like everything new well that's fine because you could go on amazon and you could get both the body and the lens together for about a thousand dollars here are some of the specs for the a7 24 megapixels on a full frame sensor right it's not a crop it's not a three-fourths four-thirds it is a full sensor this kit lens that it comes with it is the 28 to 70 and it's great for whatever beginner stuff you want to do accomplish with it is phenomenal it is about 27 ounces just the body and the lens is probably going to be around the same weight so they even out pretty well it's pretty well balanced nothing is too heavy obviously this is just a kit lens Obviously, you can get a lot more lenses with this, a lot heavier. Stills, you can get about five frames per second on this, and it is great. I love it. I've used this for my niece's birthday party. I've used this for action shots. Now, the reason why I got this was for the video capabilities of it. This is indeed a 720, 720, and a 1080p camera. It could record up to 60 frames per second, 30 and 24, I believe as well. Now, some of the pros for this camera. One of the biggest ones, I believe, it is the weight and the form factor of it. It is very, very small, a lot less bulky than anything you would get from a DSLR. Now, right now, I'm recording this on my 5D Mark III. Great pictures awesome video however though that one does not have auto focusing this one does granted it is not the best in the market right now however for when it came out it was great it's still something that you can totally hang with and it's totally do uh, doable in today's day and age auto focusing it is amazing i'm telling you it's not the fastest that's out right now but however you're not going to be sitting there and looking at something for 10 seconds until it finds it focus no it is great it is a mirrorless camera so that means that there's no mirror in front of the sensor that's going to give you a reflection um, so when you do open it up you are going to see the sensor right there where it is uh, another great thing about it is you can change the lenses on this um, right now, I said I'm rocking the 70 to 20 or the 28 to 70. It's great. It's a tele uh, telephoto of uh, something 28. It's not too tight on you. So if you wanted to vlog, you could. Um, and then if you want a good zoom, 70 is not bad. I have been meaning to get something else for it, but for right now, this is great. A lot of the cameras out there do not have this feature. And that is the audio in. So you can actually get a microphone, either Rode or another shotgun microphone, and it is does have an input for it. So you could put your microphone in, you could put your headphone in to monitor the audio. It's got a HDMI mini, and it does have a USB 
charging port for it. So another great thing is, I like about this because say you wanna go out to the beach or you wanna go out to the park and you don't wanna carry around your big DSLR, this is perfect because it's not heavy, you're not bringing a lot of attention to you and I know a lot of people are very conscious of having their precious baby, like my 5D out there. I would be a little hesitant just to bring that out to the park if I just wanted some quick pictures of my friends or something like that, you know? I don't wanna really expose or take a chance on somebody running away with it or me dropping it by accident. This is awesome because it's a lot lighter, it's a lot smaller, and if you really wanted to, this is perfect for vlogging. Some of the functions that it does have, it does have manual, shutter, aperture, and programmable dials right on top. Scenes, uh, it's got movie mode. It also has the exposure, balance on it that's one good thing about i like i like about this over say something like a rx100 that you could really really tweak you could really go manual fully manual on stuff like this but you don't have to carry around a dslr which is a lot heavier than anything else now some of the cons with this camera it doesn't have much but some of them are pretty evident one of the biggest ones that might be a deal breaker for a lot of you guys is the screen now it is a tilted screen, so if you want to get if you want to get down low for a good shot, probably of your pets, your kids, or something that's going down down, down low, perfect for that. Um, if you want something that's high above you, you can put it do that just as well. Something above you. However, it does not swivel around, nor does it pop up for selfies. That might be a deal breaker for a lot of you guys. This does have a tendency to overheat. Now this is a Sony thing, unfortunately, that's the Sony's Achilles ankle, that they do overheat. So that is something that you will probably be looking at too. Now, I'm not talking about, you can record this for five minutes. No, that is not it. However though, if you start, if you're out in the heat, especially here like in Phoenix, Arizona, if you're out in the heat and you're taking a lot of video, uh, you will probably, after 20, 25 minutes, it will probably start catching up to you, start getting the little warnings, and it will overheat. Another thing that a lot of people do not like about this, or that's missing from a lot of the other cameras that are out there right now, is the capability to record in 4K. You cannot record 4K on this. However, though, you can record 1080p, which is perfect for YouTube, for family photos, or for family video. Also, Probably one of the another big factor is for Sony's battery life. So as you can see here, I got one, two, three, four batteries because Sony has a tendency to be really, really weak in the battery department. I believe you could get two of these. I remember I got this, two of these camera uh, batteries plus a charger for like 26, 30 bucks. Uh, one of these might probably last you, oh, I don't know, probably within the range of either 100 shots. I want to say like maybe half an hour of recording. Another thing about this that I don't really like is Sony. What are you doing? You hear that? Now, I these are the little metal clips that are used to get a, like a little camera strap around it. I don't like them. I keep the, I been meaning to take this one off. I keep this one on there just for the fact that, you know, it's got my hand loop on it, so I could always have it nice and tight with me. I just, that's one thing I don't like. A lot of good things, obviously, they're not all good, they're not all bad. If you are in the market to get a camera that is on the cheap side for a full frame, that you could do a lot more than a simple point and shoot or your phone, I do recommend the A7. So, it would probably be silly of me to do a review or a little worth it episode of a7 without a camera test hopefully you can see the difference in three two one okay well here is the image quality as you can tell from the a7 like i said it's something that it is awesome that you could record going down to the beach, going down to the park, getting your games for your kids, for your for your uh, family, birthday parties, whatever it is, it's a great thing. And I actually know a lot of people that actually use this body for professional photography. So if you want an all-around camera for a great price, that you are willing to sacrifice a little bit of data technology, and this camera did come out, I believe it is in 2013. It's not the state of the art stuff right now. But does it work? Yes. Is it great for whatever you need to do for vlogging, 
for just whatever, going down to the beach, going down to the park, yes, it is perfect. If you have any more questions, go ahead, uh, leave a comment. Hopefully this has helped you in deciding whether or not this is a good option for you. Hope you guys have a good day. See you guys in the next one. Bye.